think Booker T was, he was very, uh, he's a fraud. He wasn't hurt a bit. On the side of the boogeyman miraculously healed Booker T. Yes, yeah, quick, he sprinted out of there. Uh-oh, here and comes a man. former Texan turned big apple lady. Are you guys ready for this? Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome John Bradshaw Layfield. Oh, everybody's dancing. Oh, he's two-stepping. He's happy. Well, ladies and gentlemen, when we come back, we'll be joined by Stone Cold Steve Austin. Austin, JBL, a beer drinking contest. Next, on Saturday night's main event. Welcome back, everybody, and after they rock this first hour here on the Saturday night's main event. Still coming up next street fight, HBK and Shane McMahon, but Taz, that's not all. Oh, that's right, man. Last night on SmackDown, the world's strongest man, Mark Henry, he said tonight here on Saturday night's main event, he's going to call out The Undertaker right here tonight. So that's, that's going to happen. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the very moment that NBC executives and fans from all over the world have been waiting for. The moment that JBL, John Bradshaw Layfield, self-made multi-millionaire, media maven, wrestling uh, god, would come to Saturday night's main event on NBC, right here in the bowels of America, where your mayor, your ear-ring-wearing mayor, Kwame, is a laughing stock, where your sports teams, wow. <laughs> if I were you, I'd quit cheering because you morons elected him. Of course, there's not much to cheer for here, seeing as how your sports teams could not win an inter-squad scrimmage. And what really upsets me, your automakers, your mighty Detroit automakers, losing to Toyota. and your labor unions are an embarrassment to the United States of America that I stand for. You're losing jobs to Japan. You're losing jobs to Mexico. Well, at WrestleMania, when I beat, beat, and I guarantee, look at me, I guarantee, when I beat Chris Benoit, for the United States Championship. Things will change. This country will stop losing jobs. This country will stop being universally hated. This country will stop being a worldwide joke that it is. Well, this is no joke. This is a Texas Rattle State. Bradshaw making his political remarks but what an ovation and a standing ovation for the rubber stripped him up hit him where do you see it Stone Cold Steve Austin returns let me give you a quick backstory Stone Cold Steve Austin he did an interview on WWE.com when Austin did the athlete he thought was the best Texas all time wrestlers and Bradshaw wasn't on that list and Max was offended by it. And now we're going to have a beer drinking contest. How can JBL challenge Austin? Austin, whose favorite beer is his next? He challenges Stone Cold to a beer drinking contest? I hear you. Stone Cold, my favorite Texan, I'll tell you that. The Texas Rattlesnake has him on their feet in Coco Arena. And Steve Austin's idea of a balanced diet is a beer in each hand. Well, JBL, you're in trouble. Speaking of hands, I don't know why JBL's even in this. He's got a broken left hand thanks to Chris Benoit, who shattered his hand with those steel steps on SmackDown. Yeah, but JBL's a right-handed beer drinker. Uh, how do you know? I 
uh, uh oh, here we go. Done my homework. I got you. Yeah. <laughs> I watched him train <laughs> just last night. <laughs> I don't like to taste the beer and the smell of burning rubber. It's a lot of beer. <laughs> oh man. Well, I just had a couple quick things I wanted to say real quick, and uh, first thing is, it's uh, good to be here on NBC Saturday Night's main event. <laughs> Second of all, God, damn, it's good to be back here in Detroit. <laughs> and the third thing is, uh, I sure am thirsty. <laughs> You know, I got to thinking about this thing. Uh, all of a sudden, I hear that JBL has challenged me to a beer drinking contest, and I started thinking to myself, well, Hello, JBL. I didn't see you standing there, son. Are you trying to sneak up on me? I I'm hurt. You hurt? Why did you challenge me to a beer drinking contest? I just want to know, was there something that I said? something you didn't say. You're talking about Texas greats. In Texas, there's two things, the Alamo and me. And if it wasn't for this broken hand, I'd stomp a mud hole and walk it dry. Own you. Uh-oh. So I'm going to beat you at your own game, drinking beer like these common idiots. Well, you ain't going to get all ruffled up about it. Settle down, son. Jesus Christ, you're about to blow a gasket. <laughs> yeah, I started thinking to myself, I said, you know, Stone Cold, no JBL might have a chance at beating you in a beer drinking contest. I mean, you're a big old fella. Why are you about 5'11"? <laughs> How tall are you, 5'11"? 6'6 uh, six, six and about a quarter. Oh, 6'6". Six, six. And, and a quarter. Why are you, you, why you weigh about 205? About 282 or uh, 283. Well, I was close. You know what I'm trying to say? I know you can drink a lot of beer, so I was thinking maybe I need to start practicing. This morning, I got to wake up, call over at the hotel at about 6.30 in the morning. I call room service, and I said, room service, I need to order some breakfast. And they said, Mr. Austin, what do you want? I said, well, I want one egg and about two cases of beer. <laughs> so I ate that one egg, you know, for the vitamins and protein, cotton, whatnot. And I drank him 24 beers. About lunchtime, I got hungry. About time to come over to the building, I went over to the bar. And, hell, I started drinking. I started drinking one beer. I drank a pitcher of beer. Another pitcher of beer. Another pitcher. Hell, I drank 15 pitches of beer because I was worried about you beating me. So what do we got going on here in this little beer drinking contest? I'm ready to just go ahead and get started right now. If you don't mind, I'll just go ahead and... Well, you know your problem. Hey, you know your problem. You don't listen to anybody. This is my game. Just like this is my society, my economy. I make the rules, not you. That is your problem. You want to buck the system. You want to be Billy Bad Boy and come in here and do whatever you want. I make the rules, and here are the rules. All right. You drank all that beer today, right? We, I have 25 beers here. I have 25 beers there. I went across the river to Canada to get some really good beer because you can't get it here. And so here's the deal. You and I have... We got Canadian beer? Yeah. You didn't bring American beer? No, I went across the river and got me some Canadian beer where they play real hockey. Sorry, Tommy. Well, I'll tell you what, you're full of piss and vinegar and a lot of other things. So we got any rules, I'm ready to start drinking this. The rules are simple. I got 25 beers, you got 25 beers, and we got one minute to drink as many as we can. 
And what we're going to do is we're going to get back to back like the Old West, like Marshall Dillon, like Wyatt Earp, like Festus, like Gene Autry, like John Wayne, like Clint Eastwood, like Marino. I feel a little leery about turning my back to you. Hey, I... If you want me to drink this son bitch under the table right now, give me a hell yeah. Hell <laughs> yeah. Why can't we just make it that simple? No, we're going to get back to back. I ain't broke back mountain. I'm a real cowboy. Not that there's anything wrong with that. <laughs> no comment. So we'll get back to back, then we'll say go. And we got one minute, one minute to start drinking beer. And whoever drinks the most is the winner. One minute. 60 seconds, one minute. I don't want to get tipsy, okay? So you're the official one minute man. <laughs> You've been talking to my wife. No. Oh. One minute. One minute. See how much beer you can drink, bad boy. <laughs> For someone who got such a big damn mouth, you sure missing it with that damn beer. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh! oh, oh I don't think he just did that. Let a brass top bump beer off the face and running like a scalded dog. Well, the timing's everything. This is the. Oh, wait, 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 been while the United States champion, now Stone Cold Cowboy in the... Uh-oh. Oh, wait a minute. Perhaps I'll break the beer. He's wearing the beer. He smells the beer. I can smell the beer from here. I don't like Bradshaw's chance. Oh, oh a stutter. Stone Cold Stutter with the Texas Rattlesnake. Stone Cold Steve Austin. Oh, my God. Well, I don't think the contest went the way... JBL thought it was going to go! I knew this was a bad idea for JBL! <laughs> Bobby Chris Benoit came out here and threw JBL back in the ring! A lot of bad luck! But Benoit and JBL are going to beat a WrestleMania! What an old fight tip for Stone Cold Steve Austin! Austin, the beer drinking contest did not fare well for JBL! It's one investment that did not materialize for the former Texan turned Big Apple naked. You think? Man, oh man, the shut it. I'll tell you what, whenever JBL wakes up from that stunner, he's gonna be red hot at Chris Benoit. Well, take another look at what just went down, literally. Well, the United States champion throws JBL back to Austin. And then it was finished. Boom! This rattlesnake. Austin with a stunner on JBL. Wait a minute. <laughs> Austin trying to get JBL's heart back going. I think this hat back. Oh, God, what a beer bath. 